Hi, I'm Connie. I work at WV Labs here at WD, and we're very excited to have Matt here today because he's using one of our flagship products to power his Pi car, which is the WD Pi Drive 314. So, Matt, tell me about what this is. This looks very uh, complex. So, this is a remote control car that's controlled over Wi Fi that um, uses a Raspberry Pi and then it uses a WD Pi Drive to record video. To connect the Pi Drive to the Raspberry Pi, it's very simple. You're going to take your DC to DC stepper and you're actually going to plug it right into the Pi Drive's mini USB cable. And then you just take the USB 3.0 cable and you're just going to plug it right into the USB 3.0 port that's on the uh, Pi Drive. So what would you say are the hardest parts of putting this project together? I think the hardest part was figuring out how I was going to mount the Pi Drive because it didn't come as part of the kit so I kind of had to figure out the engineering aspect of that. Um, the other hard part was the programming. So for these kinds of projects, are there any issues that you run into a lot for adding storage to Raspberry Pi? So the biggest things that are important to me are power, we got heat consumption because if I put it in the enclosure we don't want it getting too hot. Um, we have, you know, the pricing, you know, I don't want to spend too much money on it. Um, and just the fact, the form factor, how big the drive is and being able to fit it into small little enclosures, or in this case, it actually almost fit perfectly into where it's at right now. All right, so now we're outside the WD offices and we're gonna show you how the car works now. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for showing us how this works and this really cool project made with the WD Pi Drive. And if you have any more questions about WD Labs and the things that we do, feel free to visit our website at wdlabs.wd.com. Or if you want to check out some cool ideas and other projects, feel free to engage us on the WD Labs community.